Hi guys, how's everybody doing? And I hope everybody's staying safe out there. Hi, how's everybody doing? Hey, so uh, we want to start off um, letting everybody know that this is something that's going to be coming regularly and frequently until churches open back up. Um, and we hope that soon. And we hope that soon. So uh, we want to start off by opening up with prayer. So Stephen, bring everybody in tight. Give me a huddle, buddy. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Uh, so let's bow our heads. Uh, Lord, Father, God, we give you all the praise and all the glory, Jesus. We pray that you are able to anoint this as you always do, Father God, um, this moment together, Lord. And bless uh, this opportunity that we have to speak your word, your truth, Father God. We give you all the praise and all the glory. In your name we pray. And everybody said amen. amen. So guys, this is our first time on this side of the screen. So we just want to say, uh, have a little grace for us because we don't <laughs> always like to be on this side. We like to be in front of you guys and talk to you guys, but it's a little different when you're having to talk to a phone, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is different. So anyway, we were just really talking about and praying about what um, we should talk to you guys about during this time. And through prayer, God just reminded us um, that in the month of February, we actually had a really good lesson. And the title of it was Unbelievable. And isn't it right now that we're going through something unbelievable? I mean, don't you guys think? It is, you know, and this, uh, it's funny how God sets up certain situations. Um, God's timing is always perfect. And he knew what we were gonna be going through. Um, and he gave us actually tools and examples already mm -hmm. to learn to trust him. Um, to know that he is under control and with him in our lives he can do absolutely anything even uh, the unbelievable even finding toilet papers at stores yes <laughs> and, and when that came to mind it just warmed my heart to know that God was already putting that forward to us to teach you guys that unbelievable things and miracles are possible so let's go back to February and remember the four miracles that we talked about the first one was Jesus healing the leper. Do you guys remember uh, talking about that story where um, we asked you guys, what is leprosy? And some of you guys were like, pimples. And some <laughs> were like, um, when well, you have chicken pox. And that's exactly kind of what it is. It's It comes out through your skin. So people are um, afraid of you. They don't want to come close to you because you have all this stuff on your face. So this was a leper. But God came through Jesus and healed the leper. And so that he was an unclean man and then became a clean man. So that's an awesome miracle that we could remember during this time. And the big idea was there that Jesus cares about us when we are sick. So those people who are sick, they're not alone. Jesus cares for them. Right now, all we need to do is stand in faith, pray for them, pray that if, they, if it is that they have the virus or whatever other sickness they're going through, that God could come through right. and give them the miracle that he gave the leper. That's right. Um, the other miracle that Jesus was able to perform was uh, calming the storm. Now, if you guys remember this one, this is when we put that bottle cap inside that uh, one gallon yeah, liter of I water. Remember, remember that, that one? Yeah. And sometimes it feels in life you're going through a storm, you know, and whatever the situation is, again, it may be right now, it may be um, the situation may not be not going to school, not playing sports, um, hearing yeah. your parents talking about situations at mm -hmm. work and everything. Um, but rest assured, Jesus is in control, and he can and will calm the storm. We just have to have trust and faith. Now, when Jesus told his disciples, hey, we're going to go across the sea, he said, we're going to go across the sea. So when the storm was going on and they all woke up and woke up and said, hey, you know, wake up, man. It was, the storm's here, dude. You ain't scared. They were afraid. They were afraid. And Jesus looked at them and said, hey, man, relax. You know, I got this. Relax. You know, so with the word, everything was calm. So we got to have faith. We got to have strong faith, big faith that God is in control in this situation. Again, whether it be sports that we're playing, uh, school, you know, with our parents, with their jobs, with work. Um, that big idea was Jesus cares about us even when we're afraid, you know. Mm -hmm. So we in ourselves, in our own flesh, we can be scared and that's fine. But you know what? God in us will allow us to rise above it and learn to be comfortable in those uncomfortable situations. So let's continue to push forward with that. So even though we're afraid right now, we know that God is going to calm the storm. Right, God does calm the storm. And how about this one, guys? Do you guys remember goldfish? I know we had goldfish in February, and it was uh, Jesus fed 5,000 people with bread and fish. And if you guys, for those who were there, remember the um, story, or no, it wasn't the story, the game that we played. Mm -hmm. um, let's fix this real quick. Sorry, guys. I told you guys this is all new to us. <laughs> um, but we had you guys get in two lines and then we had goldfish and we threw goldfish on the floor and the person at the end 
had they just had a cup, right? Just had a cup. They had a cup and they had to scoop up goldfish, but only using the cup. They couldn't use their hands, they couldn't right. use anything. Right. Just as many goldfish as they could get. And then all the other uh, kids that were lined up in the two lines had cups as well. And what they were doing is dumping the cups, one after another, one after another, which was giving us what? Like a visual a of visual, how right. God was multiplying the, the fish and the bread. Just like you guys were multiplying the goldfish and at the end we had uh, plates laid out where you guys threw the goldfish and then there was enough to feed Maybe we had about 25 kids that day, and you guys all got goldfish. So again, the big idea there is Jesus can provide for our needs. So if your parents are scared or your um, maybe your family is scared because they, they had to be laid off or they're furloughed, they're not working right now because of the whole situation and everybody's wanting to, to, to keep everyone safe. So they're saying, go home, don't come to work. Remember. Jesus can provide for our needs. So Absolutely. we don't have to worry. He's going to provide for us. Absolutely. So again, we got to be the examples, the, 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 the light of hope, the words of hope, encouragement. Encouragement is definitely something we can do. Encourage your brothers, your sisters, your family at home, um, because again, God is in control. So um, another miracle that Jesus was able to perform, again, he performed a lot of miracles. I mean, he still performs miracles today because he's the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow and forever forever and, Jesus, ever. forever and ever we can definitely put our trust and faith into him um he walked on water now this is something that is definitely uh by our own strength we'll never be able to do as soon as well, i hit the water i dropped like a bag of rocks yeah and a lot of you guys <laughs> when we talked about this one you guys were saying well yeah there's those things now what is it that like they're you get on um Kind of like a surfboard. A, a surfboard yeah you can get on a surfboard and um, it, the pressure makes you kind of like fly and sort of walk on water but again you're using a tool Jesus did right. Jesus do, use any tools when he had to walk on water no he just used his own two feet and literally walked on water so walking on water is something um, that's impossible Jesus can do the impossible and unbelievable and unbelievable mm -hmm. um, these situations is something that only God can do and God through us you know we can do great things um, you know being able to be that ray be that hope be that example um, being uncomfortable or being comfortable in uncomfortable situations um, just like we are right now that is impressive mm -hmm. you know and especially with as young as everybody is right now you guys a bridge um, you guys can be that that impossible force of be somebody somebody's possible in an impossible um, possible situation mm -hmm. because you know you guys are eight nine years old seven years old ten years old no one's expecting you guys to be that that word of encouragement but you know what God inside of you guys is that encouragement yes you guys yes. be that example challenge your challenge yourselves test yourselves and ask yourself every day every moment how can I be that example to somebody again it could be to your grandparents to your parents to your brother what words can you use that God's putting inside of you to relay forward do the impossible change the elements change your atmosphere everywhere you're at because doing that is pretty impossible to do in our own strength but doing it with god inside of you is very possible challenge yourself see what you can do to build somebody's up to build somebody up to give somebody there's hope. coach primer always challenging you so there you go go show him so again this big idea was uh, jesus can do the impossible yep. so we got to make sure that we're able to be that example and be what God is asking us to be his soldiers in this time right now and every time every day so again we can focus on our faith on the fact that God through Jesus did so many miracles Jesus on earth performed so many miracles and we have to just continue to trust and continue to pray and just be in faith every day and know that we will get through this and that God is going to be with us through every step of the way right. and we just have to continue like coach primer said be the impossible you know be that person that's still happy even though you're home and you're not going to school and maybe you're not playing your favorite sport but you're still happy i know we're bummed no baseball I know. but you know we just we, giants. <laughs> we still come out and play baseball with the kids in the front yard and we still um maybe look at old videos of uh jonah or josiah playing baseball we just you know we you just look at the the good in everything that's what we just have to remember to do and the good in this situation is god is definitely slowing us down our parents yes. down yes. in order for us to all come together you know yes. um 
learn to see these moments as opportunities to again how can we glorify god god is glorifying you know as far as we are um you know we're doing a whole lot we're, we're not in a hurry to go to practice now yeah. we're in a hurry to come up and have dinner together hang out mm -hmm. together have conversation sleep in. i like to sleep in <laughs> <laughs> not me i try not to as much as possible but you know but yeah use these moments to actually come together may develop that solid foundation that god's already set for you and trust that foundation trust that rock that god is um how can we use these moments to get closer to God? How can we use these moments to build stronger relationships with our parents, with our family, with our brothers or sisters? How? God's given us those tools. Do the impossible. Challenge yourself. How can you make things stronger and better? That's for you guys. Preach it, Coach Let's Farmer. Let's go. And so before we close our session here, I wanted to leave you guys with the memory verse that... Um, is just so appropriate for this time and um what you guys could do is turn to your bible highlight it circle it um write it down on another piece of paper put it on your door wall or put it in the refrigerator put it in a few places around the house so you can memorize it and just you know pray it every day uh speak it over your household over yourself over everyone because that's just going to bring encouragement and just continue the faith during this difficult time. So it's uh, Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. So he has plans for us. Let's not worry about it. He has plans for us. He has hope for us. He has a future for us. We don't have to be afraid because God knows and he's going to get us through it absolutely he definitely will get us through it um being able to do the impossible for somebody who doesn't believe in jesus um you know having hope and positive attitudes through all of this situation is seems pretty crazy for most people but we're not like most people we're not people of this world we're people who believe in jesus and jesus is definitely going to be able to pull us through and we can stay positive we can stay hopeful that you know god's going to bring us through all of this you know He's going to be able to bring us through situations because we don't see things through the normal eye, um, which kind of leads to the next thing, right? Yes, yeah. So Coach Primer is going to teach you guys how to, oh, what were you saying about betting? Oh, yeah. No, no bets. Well, you, 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 it's, a, it's a good way to make a little bit of uh, some uh, some fees for your for your efforts and your, <laughs> your, your, your work, you know, so for your time and your efforts. So with a piece of paper, now if you guys remember that one, uh, that one impossible drill technique that we did, yeah. being able to put one sheet of paper, an eight by 10, an eight by 11 sheet of paper, and cut a hole through it and be able to fit your whole entire body through it without breaking that piece of paper. So when you guys ask, when you guys want to show somebody the impossible, you could simply tell them, hey, do you guys think I can cut a hole big enough through an eight by 10 piece of paper so that I can fit, so a human can fit, so one person can fit, so Coach Primer can <laughs> fit? Do you guys think that's possible? I mean, pretty much if you look at this piece of paper, you can cut maybe a, a circle about Oh, this big if you go really really close around the edges do you guys really think coach primer will fit through that probably uh, not i don't but coach primer says he knows how to do that so stay tuned and watch him do it and then you can do it to your friends and then when we're going over this video you or that's just part of it you can actually tell your parents hey step out you know let me you know, let me let me get this that way, so when you come back and say you can start asking your brother and your sister maybe your parents so i bet you a dollar that i can do that but no betting I'm not condoning the betting, but... But it's a way to pay for your fees and your paper, your supplies, right? I'm just kidding, guys. But hey, it's something fun to do with your family to kind of, you know, challenge them. Say, hey, I bet try to cut a hole in that paper and make yourself fit through it. And then you can come in and say, hey, you know what? With God, all things are possible. Because they're going to look at you and say, you're crazy, man. You're crazy. You ain't going to do it. All right. Let's go to that now, guys. All right. So all right. what you're going to need is a single sheet of paper, okay? And a ruler or anything that can draw a straight line. Obviously a pencil to draw a straight line and some scissors. Now, if you don't have safety scissors, even if you do, you know, make sure you have your parents there to watch you guys, make sure you guys don't hurt yourselves because we need you guys there on Sundays. Mm -hmm. All right, so as we're doing this, uh, Coach Mom's gonna get close and just uh, start recording what I got going on. So, so Coach Primer, you're saying you're gonna fit through that paper. I am gonna fit through this paper. I am going to do this. And you're I gonna will... cut a hole big enough. Thank yes, you. I'm gonna cut a hole big enough through this piece of paper. Now, a lot of people may want to ask somebody, say, hey, you know what, cut a hole first and see what they do. And then you come in and you show them 
how to do it the right way. Because they're first thing they're gonna look at you and say, you're crazy, that's not physically possible. You can't do that, that's impossible. But again, with Jesus in your life, everything is possible, okay? Amen. Now again, this is a paper right here, right? So what we wanna do is fold it the long way, corner to corner, okay, you see that? Corner to corner, just like that, got it? Just fold it in, just corner to corner, fold it in half. So as camera comes through here, here for next thing we want to do is begin to make lines just like that. And as we draw the lines, they're going to be staggered. But if you notice, there's a space here and a space here, roughly about maybe a half inch to a quarter inch apart. And then from here, you just continue that pattern all the way through. Just follow that pattern all the way through, leaving the line staggered all the way across. See that? Just like that. And you're really gonna impress a lot of people. But again, so to one line touches the end. One line touches the end only, and the other one stops about a quarter inch. Remember, in everything that we do, to God be the glory. God can definitely show and shape and change people's perspective on seeing things when we come across certain situations. Again, you're old enough to be able to be allowed to be used by God at any given moment in life. And what better chance and time to be used by God than right now in this situation where we need, you know, the love of God. We need his hope. We need his promises to reveal himself in everything that we do. So it's that simple. See that? There's about a little bit of a space on each other, every other line, okay? And all you're gonna do from here is you're gonna cut. You're not gonna cut all the way across. You're just gonna cut on both sides. So this one, you're gonna just cut across this way. All the way through all, every single line. And noticing I'm skipping the line that is short. And the reason for that is because as soon as I get here, what I'm gonna do is flip it over and then cut this way. So every line will be cut just like that. Got it? And then once you start getting ready to make that first initial cut, you're gonna skip the first bar. You're gonna skip the first bar. Skipping that first bar is gonna be able to make sure everything stays together. So again, we're skipping every single line. And by doing this, it's gonna be good, it's gonna be fun, and it's really simple and easy to make, and it's something to allow yourself to pass the time, <laughs> right? You know, I was just thinking about it right now, something that Coach Mom had mentioned that I started thinking about when she said read that scripture and put it up you know in your closet in your room in your closet or something like that i know there's a lot of people a lot of parents who actually have what's called a prayer closet and what they do is they put scriptures in there and they go in there and they actually have prayer time with jesus they have alone time with jesus by doing that that's when we can really get in conversation with god um maybe that might be an idea instead of maybe instead of the closet maybe you just kind of have scriptures Post it around your bed. That way, so when you wake up in the morning, the first thing you say is, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God, for your awesomeness, your greatness. And we know you're in control and you're gonna protect us the whole time and all the way through and through and everything that you are and everything that you do. Got it? So everything is now cut. So again, as I mentioned, I don't wanna cut this first part because then I'm gonna cut everything. Okay, so I'm gonna cut the second part. So I'll leave this one alone so it stays attached. Cut the first bar. So that one's cut. Remember, first part is not cut. The second one is cut. First one is not, second one is. I just do that all the way across until you get to the last one. Once you get to the last one, it's gonna be the same thing. It's gonna be the same thing. We're gonna cut all the way across, all the way through. If I remember how to use scissors from when I was in elementary school, <laughs> 
Okay, just two more cuts. From there, you can open it up. It's all attached. And voila. <laughs> Look at that. Coach Primer can fit through I an 8 by 10 piece, of, piece paper. of paper. All the way through my body. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Bam. Now go collect your money. <laughs> so again, God is good. Yes, he is all the time. And, and we, ag go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Again, thank you for being patient with us. This is our first video, and we are super excited that we were able to get through it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that you guys are watching, and that you guys will be able to do this little experiment with your family. And if you guys have any questions, you guys can call Coach Primer or call me, and I'll have him give you the lesson because he knows it really well. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, again, we have peace we have god did not give us a spirit of fear Amen. um we're gonna be we're gonna come through all of this you know so be the support be the example in your home make sure you're listening to your parents helping them out with whatever needs to get done help out your maybe your brother and your sister you know be the example be the one that's going to make the difference be the one that when you walk into that room the element changes the atmosphere changes because that's god inside of you allow him to shine bright through you in any situation, good and bad. And right now, we can always use more, more of Jesus in our lives. Absolutely. Amen. I so agree with that. we want to close this. You want to close this up? Yes. So Jesus, we just once again come to you today, Lord, and we just ask that you continue to guide us during this difficult time, Lord, that you give us hope, the hope that everyone is in need right now, Jesus. We turn to you, Lord. We turn our eyes, our ears, our hearts, our lives Jesus we just turn it all to you Lord and we just ask that you continue to be in the hearts of all the little ones out there Lord during this time that may be of uncertainty they don't understand what is going on around them Lord that the one thing that always remains is your love Lord your love and we are trusting in you and we are seeing things just evolve around us Lord and we know that you are gonna bring a miracle and that you're gonna remove this virus from the world and that we will be back to normal before we know it lord we love you we appreciate everything that you do for us and we pray this in the name of your son jesus christ and everybody said amen, amen. all right bye guys so get ready for the next video we'll yes. send another one out we love you guys we miss you guys and wash your hands yes take care <laughs> bye, bye.